Let's take a look at quite an old Carousel wine agitator. I say wine agitator, obviously these days it could also be a vodka wash ag agitator, particularly if you live in countries that allow vodka washes to be made. But the idea is that you have a stirrer, and I'm, I'm just going to grab the power supply here. Let's analyse it. Let's bring in, well, let's bring in the actual hoppy meter because it's got a brighter display. So here is the hobby meter. I'll just dust all the plastic off it. Tesla plastic, by the way. And this product's old enough. It doesn't actually have a plug in it. This is very old. I got this as a surplus item a long time ago. I wonder why they were getting rid of them. Maybe it's because it shoots the little uh, plastic agitator all over the place. Right. So let's plug it in. And the little uh, agitator is just taken off next to it. Uh, it's drawing 2.2 watts um, uh, with a power factor of 0.72 and a current of 12 milliamps. That's not a terribly high power consumption, but the idea is that if you've got a container that you wish to agitate the wash in, you put it above it and it spins this. The downside is that every so often it will just randomly just scoot off and uh, I suppose it's fine if it's trapped, but it does tend to go a bit wild at times like that uh, and it can be quite noisy right uh, so we've seen the power consumption we can hear it running well tell you what i shall plug it in again because rather unusually the top just unclips and inside is a pair of magnets on a little clutch and interestingly it's a one directional motor they've used i wonder if that's just because that was the only motor they could get normally those uh, synchronous motors which is what it is are uh, very directional or non-directional, should I say. But this one uh, has this little clutch, which is basically just a couple of uh, grip washers. Um, I don't know, what is the name of that washer? Is it even a washer? It's the, one of those little uh, push-on, nasty little clippy rings that are very hard to get off because they really bite into the plastic when you put them down. But the idea is it's loose on the shaft, which means that when you're starting up with these type of synchronous motors, they don't like a heavy load. So it gives it a sort of soft ramp up until it reaches the speed. I don't know if it just keeps slipping all the time though. Hmm, interesting. The unit also has these little feet that go in uh, to fit the base of a standard demijohn or whatever you call those uh, wine or vodka wash brewing containers where you are. Neat. Right, tell you what, let's unplug this. Let's open it up. This could provide uh, inspiration for making other things, right? Let's get these back out again and get a screwdriver. Now, I'm going to guess that the primary screws are going to be these three here. So I shall remove those screws. One. Two. The magnet is definitely wanting to be possessive about this screwdriver. And have I guessed correctly? Is that it? Yeah, the magnets are holding onto those screws very nicely. The flex is just fed through the hole. And there is a cable grip based on a standard uh, grip with the two holes through the metal for that. Actually, you know, I'll just leave the screws on there. It makes sense, doesn't it? And here's the motor. It's a very small synchronous motor with no gearing whatsoever. Uh, it's a cruisy motor, which is uh, quite a posh one. Is there any more information on the case? Made in France. Uh, brevet. No, not an awful lot of information. But the design is uh, very simple. It really is just uh, the shaft of that motor. Well, that's... Uh, is it really? Oh, it's actually got a little uh, plastic insert and then it's just a thin shaft that would normally go into the cogwheel in a gearbox. But in this case, it's going into this specifically made perhaps plastic bush maybe i could actually zoom down and then you'd actually see this so uh there's the motor there is the little pin coming out and there's the bush that they've got on with the metal plate with the magnets and then this uh, retaining ring just pressed on and that's it really not much to it is there and that will turn at a speed determined by the number of poles in this versus the mains uh, frequency and agitate your wash that's all I can really say about that. It's a very, very simple device. Uh, could have other uses, could be used for external uh, movement of uh, items through a solid surface. 
uh, especially if you geared it, if you wanted things to rotate slowly, but be in a, with a complete waterproof seal, because they, then they wouldn't, nothing would actually have to break the, the surface. But that's it. The Carousel Wine Agitator, which was made by Southern Vineyards in Hove, Sussex. Uh, they applied for a patent. It seems quite an odd thing to apply for a patent on. It seems a bit obvious. And it shows enthusiastic pictures of things swirling with a, with the heater going down into it from the top, the wine heater. Yeah, and, and a wizard. There you go. It's a wizard device. But there you go. The Southern Vineyards Wine or Vodka Wash Agitator. <laughs>